In the top of the page, you give me the base. This year is the Ilonishma of the Moir Menachem and Akiva, the Ilonishma Swiss Basholom Tobas Moishe, the Lerafu As Norman Crowla, the Storm of Shmuel of Omben Yudis, Yudis Basrif, Kaplina Chayabas Gula Rochel, Ruben Yakob and Golda Esther Gabriel Batsor, Hana Batsima, Tom of Basnomi Bela Zisso, Tom of Basnomi Bela Zisso, important to Davin for her. Okay. Lady was diagnosed with cancer. Well, Oma Rabbi Elozo. So, we're discussing here, still in the sugya of what happens when one found a lost star. We saw the opinions of Abaye and of Asi, and they're just explaining the Mishnah. The Mishnah is the Dafid Bezum with Bez. I actually highly recommend that we go back to the actual Mishnah. I highly recommend that although you deem with Bez, we go to Yud Beis Lamud Beis and just see the Mishnah again. It will make a world of a difference to us. Says the Mishnah Yud Beis Lamud Beis, one and only Mishnah there. Mota Shit Rechoiv. A person found Shit Rechoiv. Yeah, and I owe you documents. Imyesh ben Achais Nechosim lo yachzir. If there's a Achais Nechosim written, if it's written in the Shtar, that with this Shtar the Malve can go ahead and collect not only money, but Nechoyrin the money of the Loive but also the land that the lawyer was sold on, it's all mortgaged, even stuff that you will later sell on, they're all meshuba, they're all mortgaged, don't give it back to the hands of the malveh. Why? Shebezdin is fine, man, because the Bezdin will really use them, Bezdin will really help the, the they will side with the, with the malve to use the star and collect money with this star, and that is from some odd reason, a problem. And ben achais nechosim yachzim. If there's no Christ Nechosim, if the Christ Nechosim is not there, the star is there, but the Christ is omitted, is not mentioned, it doesn't say whether you also know the star can be used to charge the Lekuchos and take and collect the pieces of land from the buyers of the of the borrower, doesn't say. Yachzir, you can give back those. She'en Bezin Sloin Mehen Dibra Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir says, by the way, we're back to the Mishnah Beis Amud Beis. Although you give Amud Beis, but now we're just reading the Mishnah once more. Says Rabbi Meir, if in the Shtar a Christ is not mentioned, he can give them back because anyhow the Malve will not be able to use them. That was the opinion that is the opinion of Rabbi Meir. Say Chachomim, the Chachomim Oimrim, Ben Kachu Ben Kachlo Yachzir. Chachomim say, either way, don't give them back. Even if a Christ is not mentioned and it does not stay in the Shtar, does not state in the Shtar that the Shtar can be used to to charge from the Kuchos, don't give back to the Malve if he found it in the street. Because Chachomim learn whether or not there's a Christ, it's the same thing. Chachomim say, I don't care whether there's a Christ, not a Christ. At the end of the day, there is a Christ. Yeah, even if it's omitted. So what's Bukhlal the problem? Why is Rabbi Meir concerned? We're back to Yudgim Lamud Aleph, and we'll just summarize Balpe, yeah, and a printed uh, Yudgim Lamud Beis. We're in Gimel Lamud Beis on the top of the page. Amar Bielozo. What was the problem of Rabbi Meir? Why was Rabbi Meir in Chachomim? Why did both of them say that a star should not be returned? We saw up until now that both Abaye and Ravasi, that you have it in your charts in the computer and it printed some uh, copies also, they both believe that the issue in general is with the Lekuchos. Issue is with the Lekuchos. The Lekuchos can be tricked, can be cheated, and we want to protect them. This is how we viewed it up until now. That was the opinion of both Ravasi and Abaye, as much as they disagree, at the end of the day, either you like Ravasi, who says the concern is about a star that was written earlier, not predated, by the way. No, it's not my bad English, it's good English. It was The star was not predated, my friends. The star was written, six, really, no lying, no predating, was written a few months or sometime before the loan, okay? So such a star could be good as, as of itself. But because the star is not synchronized well with the loan, Emela says Ravasi, the Lukuchas are going to lose because those Lukuchas, what's going to be with them? They bought any time between the writing and the actual loan. The real loan is what created the Shibud. So they wrote, they bought what we call free land, land that's not mortgaged. And the star shows as if already it's mortgaged, as if it's already out of their hands. Because that's at the end of the day a lie, and we're concerned about it. Why are we concerned about it? So the star fell. 
a shot that's fell and found in the subway station or in the Bismedrash or in the jungle or in the Tzimmerim, wherever you find star, it's not supposed to be found there. That's a suspicious star. And therefore, in such a star, we say we want to protect the Lukuchos and we don't give it back to the Malveh. Unless, even if the Lord agrees, even if the Lord agrees and says, yes, I borrowed. <laughs> very nice, you agree. <laughs> the suffer is a Lukuchos, not you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, what about the other opinion of Abaye? Abaye says, very different mitzah, the way he views an early star. He's much less concerned. But Abai is also concerned only about the Lukuchos. At the end of the day, Abai says, the Lukuchos may be cheated on purpose, even worse, in a way. The Malbe and Eloive, maybe they actually schemed against the Lukuchos. The Milve was already paid, and the star is being reused absolutely falsely, with the Malve taking the star, pretending as it was not yet paid, taking the start to the Kuchos and charging the Kuchos, which are being mamish shvindled, and the whole thing is one big tib. It's a lie. And they will split the money, <laughs> the Malva and the Loiva. That's why Abba is concerned. But at the end of the day, again, both Abba and Rabasi agreed that the Malva and Loiva both are in agreement. We're concerned that the Kuchos are the ones that are suffering. So what's the difference between Rabbi Meir and Chachomim? Rabbi Meir says, well, a star without a chryas, you cannot go to the Lukuchos because state nicht doesn't say in the star this star has any extra responsibility, any warranty, any mortgaging on it, right? So, so there is just an empty gun, empty toy. There's nothing there to do against the Lukuchos. The Malbe and the Lovi, they both agree. Mazel tov, the Lukuchos are protected by the fact that this star cannot be used against them. There's no chryas. Yeah, there is no only star with a chryas. It says there's warranty, there is there, there is mortgaging here. She would only such a star can be used against them. Yes, we are concerned with the funny stories, but so what? <laughs> there's no chryas written, so it's all good. That's what we may Chachomim say the magic line believed by Shmuel, as far as I know, that's a Maisa. Chachomim say what? A chryas tos soifa. Even a chryas is omitted, which means a chryas is not mentioned for the good or for the bad. A chryas is just not there. A person says, uh, Shmu, says uh, Shmuel and Daf Yudalit later, a person, Rashi says, a person does not lend money so foolishly, yeah, so so uh, behaving like a fool and giving a man out money with no mortgaging, yeah, because how do you know the loyv will have money? The loyv can tell you, I'm loyv many times don't have money, otherwise, why, why do the borrow money? So, Mimele, if you don't have the achrayis, a person would not really do such a thing. And therefore, even if achrayis is not mentioned, we assume that it's just a technical, miserable, sad mistake of the scribe, of the story film. He just forgot the line. Scribes are not angels. Many of them are, but not all of them are. And therefore what? And therefore we say, which means Chachomim basically agree that the star with or without a chryas has a chryas. So the Mechlech of Sudan Ramein Chacham is not that great. It's a technical question. What? How do you treat the star without a chryas? Yeah? Do we say a chryas still applies or not? The real deal, the real chashash, the real big black concern is the same. We're concerned for the welfare of the Lakufas. That was the opinion, the gadol of both Abaye and Ravasi. Elamai, what is the concern is the question. But everyone's concerned about the Lakufas. Uh, yes, and then we had Shmuel, and then, uh, yeah, okay. Question time. Yeah. Now. That was the opinion of Rabbi Yassi and Nabai. Shmuel, and I'm still in the summary, although we're about to embark on reading Umbria Lozor, which is very, very similar to Shmuel, Shmuel said completely different. Shmuel is not concerned neither to an early star, for whichever reason, and nor to a Knunya. Shmuel thinks it's far-fetched, Knunya, because the Loiva doesn't keep his star. As we say later, Loiva doesn't want to keep his star, not even to play games. He's scared of the star. Once he gets the star, he tears it right away. It's like a, a nuclear bomb he wants to throw in outer space. So now, what's the concern according to Shmuel? A whole different ballgame. According to Shmuel, we're talking here that the loive claims that the star, and here I, I failed a bit, but I wasn't completely wrong when explaining at the end of last year, what is Shmuel's concern? Today we'll see more of the focus. We're going to focus on that. Says Shmuel, the person says the star is in the the Loiva says, that star, fake. Since when we just believe people who say it's a fake star? There's, maybe there's Q, maybe there's, you know, uh, uh, credibility to the star. Says Rashi, the same magic word, which you all know. Star Shenofal is different. If a star is found in the street, then it, it loses its uh, shimmer. 
it loses its neomonas to, 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 to an extent. And therefore, if the Lord says, uh oh, I don't know, this is a false start, all things forged, fraudulent to begin with. We listen to him, yeah, and we don't give it, by the way, to either way, because we still want to find out what's the truth. But we definitely don't give it to the Malve. Now, says Rabbi Meir, if the Shtar has no achrayas, you can give it back to the Malve. Says Gemara, what? Give out? Why? Even if there's no achrayas, that means that the Lukuchas are protected. But who cares about the Lukuchas? He himself. The Shtar still says, you owe me money. Maybe not the piece of land you sold on. You owe me cash. You owe me the Chinese toys in your house. You owe me everything. You owe me your own money. Says the Gemara, Shmuel believes that according to Rabbi Meir, a star that is no achrayas is worth zero, and therefore you cannot do anything with it. A star without achrayas is nishka star. What is it like? It's like milve alpe without edim. Because the whole idea of star, I was happy I gave you that introduction. The whole vote, the whole idea of star, the whole advantage in English of the star is a whole the star, then I can use it onwards to take from the kuchos. If the star does not have the lukuchas in it, then what star? It's just a milve balpe. It's as good as an oral balpe milve without edim. Without edim. Milve balpe without edim is a joke. Is a joke. And if the lover says, I don't owe you, go jump. You know where. And therefore, when we give to the malve, why do we give it back to the malve? To use it as a piece of paper. It can cover his bottle with it. That's all it can do. This star is worth maybe the 10, 20 shekels if it's very expensive paper and that's it. Chachomim say, again, the same thing. Chachomim say, whether or not there's a chrayis, whether or not the chrayis applies or does not apply, a chrayis this, a chrayis in, a chrayis there, it's all the same. A chrayis to soifer. And therefore, you never give it to who? To the, to the, sorry, no. And Chachomim say, excuse me, Chachomim believe that this star, again, the star that has no chrayis, the star that has no chrayis can be used against the the, the loyve himself. If he can be used against the loyve, don't give it to him. Don't give it, right? Yeah, don't give it, don't give it back, because it can still be used against him himself. That was Shmuel. If he didn't get Shmuel so well, no worry. Rabbi Lozer is saying almost the same as Shmuel. Omar Rabbi Lozer, we're starting today's year with an opinion which is extremely similar to Shmuel's opinion, and we're going to have another opinion similar to Abaye and Ravasi. So everything you heard now will be reviewed and looked into more in depth today. Amar Abeloza, Mazluka, Bezal Sashem Nasev and Atzmi. Amar Abeloza, Machloikis, Machloikis between who? Rabbi Meir and Chachomi. Abeloza is an Amoyro. He comes to explain, to explain Machloikis Tanoim, Chachomim against Rabbi Meir. Machloikis B'She'en Chayev Moide. The issue of our Mishnah, the issue of our Mishnah is, I found a star in the street, I go to the Loive, I'm a smart guy, I don't run to the Malve. Mr. Loive, do you admit? He says, no, this is this is a lie. Now, En Chayv Moide here, yeah, En Chayv Moide here, according to a blazer, doesn't mean that he said he was forged. Could be that he says he was paid already. He was paid. That's the difference between a blazer and Shmuel. Took me some time to get it, but that's for sure the truth. I don't admit he was paid already. It fell for me. It fell from my hands. I didn't yet get to tear it. I wanted to teach my children with a basra and with a kama. I wanted to show them a star, yeah. And they're on holiday. I'm going. They're going up the walls. It's uh, it's a uh, chofesh, yeah. So I'm going a star activity. So Mimela, it fell for me on the way to the water park with the kids. But really, I paid it already. That's what he says. Okay. So oh, don't give it to the malve. Oy vay vay. He's going to recharge me, charge me again falsely. The schwindler of a malve. However, the Rabbi Meir so far, Rabbi Meir thinks star she'en b'achrayis mechosim. Why did Rabbi Meir allow to, yes, give the Malve shtar that does not mention any achrayis, any mortgage, any warranty? Why are you allowed to do that? Because it's an empty gun. Not only you don't collect from the Shubodim, from the carcass sold onto the Kuchos, you're not going to, even from regular, from Bnei Chayrin. You don't collect anything. A shtar without achrayis is like lemonade without lemon. It's just not that. Finished. It's not it, as we said before. Emele says, Rabbi Meir, <laughs> you can give it back as much as you want if the star has no achrayis, the star has nothing. It's a zero of a star. Give it back to the Malve. Why you give it back to the Malve? Because it can be very nice decoration for his plate or for his uh, silverware. It's tam. It has no value whatsoever, says Rabbi Meir. No questions for now. One second. 
Abonon Savri, we skip the parentheses, although the parentheses are right. Abonon Savri, Migba Gavi. Rabbonon say no. Such a star, such a star, what kind of star that has no achrayas, but the star still is a star. There's no achrayas, he's still goive from the loyva himself. From the loyva himself, he goive from Bnei Choyim, from his own money. He not goive further on from the kuchas, but the kuchas are not the business over here. According to Ablaz, it's like Shmuel, the kuchas are not the issue here. The kuchas are not the issue at all. Ain chayev moide. The chayev himself is not moide. Before the kuchas, he himself says, I never borrowed. The whole thing is was paid already. Mimela, don't give a gun, a loaded gun, to the hands of the Malve. Mimela, say Chachomim, they say, no, Chachomim say, and that's what Chachomim say, don't give him back anyways. Yeah, never give him back the star. Because even a star without a Christ, Nechosim, is good to collect from the Loive. And the Loive is the one we want to protect. Remember, according to Rabbi Lozer, we want to protect the Loive. Rabbi El Ozer, Ozer. Rabbi Lozer helps. Who does he help? The Loive. El Ozer, Lamed, Lamed, Loive. Rabbi Lozer, Le Ozer, Loive, Ozer. He helps the Loive. Oh, that's a good simon. He helps the Loive be protected from the vicious Malve who may be lying. Because the Loive claims, I may be borrowed, Nagid, even if he says he borrowed, he says he returned it already. Aval Kshichayev Moide. But continues Rabbi El Ozer. If the Chayev himself admits and he says, yes, you found it in the Stabu station in Yerushalayim. <laughs> you found it in the Rakevet, I'm joking. Yeah, you found it somewhere, and what? And you go to the Loive, and the Loive says, yes, the Loive is an honest guy. He says, yes, I borrowed from a mother, please give it back to him. Yeah, I still owe the money. I'm a Yosher person, I'm an honest person. Give it to the Malve. Then, everybody says, meaning, who's everybody? Rabbi Meir and Chachomim both say that in any kind of star, shape, or form, you give it to who? To the Malve. What's the Chiddush? Of course, everyone agrees. What's the Chiddush, people? What's the Chiddush? We're not concerned of, we're not protecting who? Lekuchos. Oh, everyone's amazing here. Yeah, Rabbi Lazar is a very good friend of Shmuel. We're not concerned of Piroin. We're not concerned that the guy, actually, the loyve paid back, and then the loyve paid back and said, hey, Mr. Malve, yeah, you know, I have a star in my hand. Let's reuse it and play a game. Although I paid you already, pretend as if I didn't, and there were no Adim correctly. And now, yeah, go with the star and reuse it against my Lukuchois. They bought my beautiful house in Mamila. Yeah, and maybe three houses in Mamila against the huge uh, debt. And now both of us will play a game as if he wasn't paid, as if I still owe you. And they are the ones who have to suffer. And we'll split the, the loot, Chas B'Sholom. Says Shmuel, says Shmuel and Rab Lazar, they say, we're not concerned of that. Lekuchas are not such under danger. Says Taisves, we're also not concerned of an early star. Those chashashas, they're not concerned. Okay? Why not? Piroin, we'll see later, Eloise does not play games for the simple reason, you tell me. <laughs> Sometimes, Chas Shalom, you befriend a criminal, he's going to turn against you. Right? What's going to be? That guy, the Malve, the Deloive, wants to uh, to cooperate with, to collaborate with, what's going to be? <laughs> the Malve is going to use a star against him. <laughs> instead of against the Lukuchos. You're giving him a loaded gun, he'll kill you instead of killing them. So Mimela, Shmuel says, we're not concerned about that. And so says Rabeloz. Adkan Rabelozo, presenting similar to Shmuel as well. The concern is who? Not the Lukuchos. Lukuchos are protected naturally, so to speak. The concern is who? Is about the loyve himself, one second, Jeffrey, and therefore only in the case when the loyve says, I did not borrow and it's false, or according to a blazer, it says, I actually borrowed, but it's been paid already. It's been paid, that's old hands. Ah, I kept it in my house. I forgot to tear it. Yeah, let's say he says that he paid already. In that case, says Rabbi Olozo, that we are concerned. If he says, I do not owe money. How far do we go with that concern? Okay. Depends with Meir Chachamim, and Rabbi Meir believes that a star that has shibu, that has no shibud can be returned to the. You have to remember that too. Can return to the Malve because the Malve can't do anything with it. A star without shibud is like you know, you know, biting bread, hard bread without teeth doesn't work at all. Adkan the opinion of Rabbi Alozo. Al it's an amoyo for Meir Tzitzor. Rabbi Alozo. It's not a tana because he argues Rabbi Yechanan and. Yes, uh, Baruch, and then Jeffrey. Yes, what sir. Is 
before we continue, before we continue, yeah, Chachamim say, according to Chachamim, Ishtar without Shibud, of course, is not as powerful. Says Rashi, Rabon and Savri, that the Shtar is the, without Shibud is the Kmil Balpeh with Edim. Because Shtar is Edim. Shtar is stronger than Balpeh. Shtar is like Edim as of itself, as its own set of Edim. And therefore, of course, you can, you may collect with that Shtar from who? From the Loibe himself. Just a regular Milva Balpeh. Milva or a Balpeh, Milva Balpeh, or a Milva, you can not take from the Kuchos. He can take from the guy himself, and it's like with Adim, and he can take it in based in, and he can raid his bank account, not the Lukuchas's. On his bank account, he can go and raid it, ra- raid, I mean, with the Rashut for Bezin, justifiably so, because it, because no, he had a star with Adim. The star is like Milvapa with Adim, while well, Rabbi Meir says it's a star like Milvapa without Adim, which is almost nothing. Yeah, that the only difference is, according to Rabbi Meir, a star without the uh, Chryas, you cannot. Collect from the loive at all. You can collect from his own money, but not the Lukuch. That's all. Jeffrey Schlieffel. Wow. Yes. Is that the Shtar without a cry, Jeffrey? Yes, I'm listening. It's clear. Has Rabbi Yochanan on? Rabbi Yochanan is going to sound very similar to us because we've seen him already before in the shape of his friends from Bovel, Rabbi Asi, and actually, best of the Israel, actually, and Abaye. Rabbi Yochanan Omar, Machloikes Shechayev Moide, says Rabbi Yochanan Omar, Machloikes Tanoim, meaning the issue of the lost star being brought back, applies when the Chayev is Moide, even if the Chayev admits. The Chayev, the alleged Chayev says, yes, I owe the money, I'm an honest guy, give it back to the Malve. Still, we are smelling trouble. We smell danger here. Who do we want to protect, even though both Malve and Loi are greening away? Yes, it's a good star, so nice. Let's take a photo. We're concerned about the Lakucho, is the L people. They'll be males of Shtar She'en Bochais Nechosi. Now listen to this, because that's another difference between opinions. A male says, a Shtar without a Christ Nechosi can be brought back to the Malve. Why? Memishabdi or Deloy Gavi. You're not going from Mishubodim. Mimela, the Lakuchos, which you're so concerned about, are protected. Because <laughs> if there's no Achrayas, then what? No Achrayas means that you'll never go down to their lands. You'll never, you'll never charge, never collect from the kuchos. So it's true. Maybe the liars, maybe the shmires, maybe look them. So what? A star with no achrayas has no power. It's beyond its range of that gun to hit the lakuchos, right? He can only be gave from who? From the actual money of the loyve. Well, no problem. He admitted. The loyve admits. The loyve says, yes, I do owe. Yes, absolutely. The loyve admits that he owes. That kind of star that has no Christ can only be used against him. What do you mean against? He admits that very nice. No, but there's no Christ Nechosim written, the Lukuchas cannot be touched. You see the difference though. But according to this opinion of Rabbi Yochanan, the star is a good star. It's not a nothing, it's something, but it only affects the the, the loyd and not the Lukuchas. The Rabbonon Sabu. Why did Rabbonon in the Mishnah Chachomim, why did they argue and say, no star shall be returned to the mouth and no star at all whatsoever. Because they say, Mimishabdi Nami Gavi. They say, no. They say the magic words, Achrais Tos Toifer. Even though Achrais is omitted, clause number 5A, whatever the standard clause of what? Of having the Achrais, the mortgage is not written. It's just a technical mistake of Mr. Toifer, of Mr. Lawyer, the secretary of the lawyer forgot to write it. That's all. Nimishabdi, you are going there. The Shibut is really there. The Achrayis is there. And the Lukuchas are in danger. The Lukuchas may be tricked either like Abaye or like who? As we're going to see, more like Knunia, like Abaye, or predated like Avrasi. Avag she'en chayev moide, when the chayev is not moide, continues Rabbi Yochanan. What would Rabbi Yochanan say if the chayev says, no, I did not write it down or I returned it? If Rahako lo yachzir, even if he says, I wrote it, but I was Porea, I paid back already, we listen to him. Again, we don't always listen to him, of course. That's a joke. Obviously, when people come to base him and the Malva has it in his hands, the lawyer cannot say, I, I paid back. But because the star fell, mm, star that fell, doesn't schmeck nice. And therefore, we side with Mr. Lawyer that says, I was Porea, 
and nobody would say to give any kind of star to the Malve because once it fell and the lawyer says, I was Korea, we at least believe him, at least we're concerned about what he says, and we say, don't give back to the Malve. Let's summarize. So now we really have to machloik to see him here, hand in hand. According to, let's summarize, and it's going to be really so easy. Says Rabelozo, the concern is about who? The Rabelozo says, I am really helping the Lekuchos, right? Yeah. In other words, sorry, excuse me. Rabelozo says, Rabelozo says, when the, when the, En Chayev Moide, excuse me, he, he helps the, the Rabelozo helps the Loive. Rabelozo helps the Loive. Why does, I got confused because of my own simon. Loive and Lekuchos is the same Lamed, yeah? I, I knew it till, until now. I made the wrong simon, sorry. According to Rabbi Elozer, what happens, the only issue is when the Chayv himself claims, I did not borrow, or, according to Rabbi Elozer, more specifically, I paid back already. We believe him. We generally believe him. Yes, we're concerned about it. We're concerned about it. Yes, the concern is about the Loiva. Why does Rabbi Meir allow then to give back a star to the Malve if you think the star is false or was returned? The, the loyver doesn't really owe. How can Rabbi Meir allow such an atrocity to give back a star to the hands of the Malve in case of no of no Christ? Ah, as Rabbi Meir says, the star without a Christ is nishka star. It's nothing. It's like alpe. That these are the two things that Rabbi Lozer believes. Rabbi Yochanan, two other things he says. He argues with him on two points. Point number one: the issue is not about the. Loive, it's about the Lekuchos, yeah? Even if he admits, even if he admits, then we say, what? The Lekuchos may be hurt over here, yeah? And says, Rabbi Meir, Shtar without a Chryas, you may be, yeah, Shtar without a Chryas is worth something, you can go to the Loive, and it's fine, because the Loive admits. The Lekuchos are the ones who were concerned about, according to Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan Lekuchos, that's better, Ches Ches. Rabbi Yochanan helps the Lekuchos with the Ches. And he says, Lekuchos, Lekuchos, you should worry about them. Oy, 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 what can happen to them? And therefore we say, in case that the star has really no, a star has no achrayas, give it back. Why give it back? Star without achrayas is worth something. He argues, and that we could also the closer. It's worth something. It's going to only go to the loyve, which admits that he, he borrowed. And the Lekuchos, which you're concerned about, are not going to be hurt. No achrayas. So these are the two could just argue about. How does Rabbi Meir view a star without a chayis? And is our Mishnah concerned about the loy by himself or about the lakuch? These are the two points that argue about. And even if you didn't get it 100%, what? No, nobody says both, actually. Actually, both would be Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan says both. Rabbi Yochanan says both. Yeah, true. Rabbi Yochanan says, if Chayev en moide, then lo yachzi becomes concerned about Piran. Right. Rabbi Yochanan is both. Fine. But Rabbi Yochanan is not both. Tani kavosa do Rabbi Yochanan. Now we're going to see a b'raisa. Mechloke samaroim. What do you do in mechloke samaroim? You bring a b'raisa. The b'raisa, which is bigger than both samaroim, is going to decide for us. Tani kavosa do Rabbi Yochanan. We're going to see now a b'raisa that supports Rabbi Yochanan. The tuv to do Rabbi Yochanan. That b'raisa will be a question, will be a, an attack against Rabbi Lozer in one point. The Tufta de Shmuel Betalti will also question Shmuel, which is similar to Rabbi Lozer in two points. Let's leave Shmuel alone for now on purpose, because it will only confuse us. I promise you, Shmuel will be explained the Daffy Dal, the Modalif, yeah? And also what well, there's an extra question on Shmuel. So now let's just see, Shmuel was very friendly with Rabbi Lozer. Right? The both said that we who are we protecting? We're protecting really the loyva himself, not the Lukuchos, right? The only difference between them was what does the loyva claim? Does he claim he was forged, that's Shmuel, or does he claim I paid back, which is uh Rablozar? But Lamai said they're more or less the same, yeah. Well Rabbi Yochanan says no. Rabbi Yochanan says we'll protect the Lukuchos, like Rabbi and Ravasi. The Kuchos are the ones that are the vulnerable miskinim over here. So now look at the Braisa that supports Rabbi Yochanan. What does the Bryce say? First one blan. Where's the Yosef? First one blan. Motso shitre choiv. A person found found shitre choiv. The yesh be machrais nechosim. You find a shitre choiv, one or two or three, 
Shtalchot says Reuven owes Shimon, Reuven owes Shimon, again Reuven owes Shimon, Misken Reuven owes a lot of money to Shimon, and there's a Christ Nechosim, there is a Christ written there, says black and white, in case the Loive fails to pay, ooh, 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 all the Nechosim of the Loive are completely, absolutely mortgaged to the Malve, and all the Lekuches should be well aware of that and do the due diligence. Afel be Sheshnei even though both Loiv and Malve are greening away and they both agree, oh, that's a terrific star. And the Loiv says, yes, I'm an honest guy and I did not get paid. Are you happy, Boro? You should not give back neither to the Malve nor to the Loiv. Okay, why is that? Everyone agrees, what's the problem? Who are we protecting? The Lakuchos. That sounds like Rabbi Yechanan. Rabbi Yochanan Lekuchos, Ches Ches, you know the Hebrew letter Ches? It looks like that, yeah. Rabbi Yochanan Lekuchos, very good. Oh, that already smells like Rabbi Yochanan. And by Nechais Nechosim, let's say in a different subway station in Manhattan, he found a different uh, ward of, of Shtoros and by Nechais Nechosim, with no Christ Nechosim, yeah. Yuda owes, uh, whoever, Levi, owes and owes and owes, but no Christ is mentioned. Then, what? Bizman Shaloi Vimoide. Then, if the loyve admits, then admits that he owes, then give it back to the malve. Give it back to the malve. No Christ nechosim. Only if the loyve admits that he paid, then he can be machzir to the malve. Very easy. Why? What do you mean why? Because when there is no achrayis, the lekuchos are automatically protected. <laughs> achrayis is the gun against the lekuchos. Achrayis means I will chase your lands till the end of the earth. I know where you live. I know where your karkos are. That's Achrayis. If Achrayis is not written, then what? The loyve agrees. Lekuchos are automatically protected by lack of Achrayis. Mazel tov, it's a deal. Give it back to the Malve. The poor guy is owed money. Oh. Then, en aloyve moide. Let's say the loyve says, oh, I'm not moide. Either en aloyve moide, I did not pay, I did not, I don't owe. Either it's false or I returned. That could be another issue. Okay. Then, don't give it back to anybody if the loyve does not admit, says Rabbi Meir. Because if the loyve does not agree, right, does not admit, does not agree that he owes, don't give it back to the malve. Because regardless of a Christ Nechosim, he himself is under fire, right? Yeah, a star without a Christ Nechosim is valuable to be used against the loyve. That's another strike for Rabbi Yechanan against Rabbi Ozer. Shoy Rabbi Meir Oimer. Look, now it's black and white. What up until now was hinted is now out of the box. Oil out of the out of the closet. Shoy Rabbi Meir Oimer. Sheitre Echoyv. She yesh be machais nechosim. Sheitre Echoyv that have a chais nechosim written in them. Only them goyvim nechosim mishubodim. Right. So if you have an issue with maybe the lekuch is being frauded, uh, being cheated on, don't give them back. With the Christ Nechosim, you take Nechosim Shabbatim, and now comes the punchline: the she'en by the Christ Nechosim, go by the Nechosim Bnei Choirin. You saw that? If the star has no Christ Nechosim, is not zero. Like Rabbi Lozer said, it's worth something, and it can be used against the loyve. No Christ means no running around with Shabbatim and extra responsibility. But the loyve himself owes. Oh, so what do you see? That is that's Rabbi Meir exactly like Rabbi Yochanan. Two points. For Rabbi Yochanan, first of all, a star according to Rabbi Meir is valuable even with the Atta Christ Nechosim, no Christ, Kipshutoi means don't don't run after the Lukuchos, no Shibud. The Lord is still owes and it's still called a good star, maybe Milva Balpe with Adim, but it's something, yeah. And also he believes that the ones we're protecting here are who are the Lukuchos. We're concerned about the Lukuchos' welfare. We say no, even if both sides agree, but you have a Christ, mm, Shmek's bad to me. Everyone agrees here, and the star fell, and you all guys are so much agreeing, and the star was found in funny place. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Detective Bezdin is not so happy here. We're concerned that you're going to go to the Kuchos because of the scheme against them. Chachomim say, we're continuing the same b'risa, exactly, the same pro rabbi Yochanan b'risa. Chachomim oimim, echad ze ve'echad ze, goyvim nechosim meshubodim. Chachomim say, no. The Chomim say a star without a Christ is like a star with a Christ. Yeah, he doesn't say you buy a sweet, a very sweet sweet. It doesn't say sugar on the label because they're cheating. They forgot to write the name sugar. 
That's all. In other words, it's definitely there. It's there even if you don't think it's there. The Shibud is there even if it's not written. It's just a technical mistake of the Soifel. And therefore, if, since we all agree, Rabbi Meir and us, we all agree to protect the Lekuchos, we mainly will protect Lekuchos and we don't give back the Shtar, even without the Chrais, don't give, give it back to the Malve, lest he'll abuse it against the Lekuchos. And we're concerned for Knunia because the Shtar fell and it's, excuse my language, Pashtun. That is one question against Rabbi Lozer. The Gemara will actually elaborate why this is one strike against Rabbi Lozer. You people think I don't know math, right? Because I said two, and really it's one. By the way, it's two. And the Gemara says it's one. We're going to have a game here with one and two. How many questions are against Rabbi Lozer? But I did enumerate the question against Rabbi Lozer, and the Gemara says we have one question against Rabbi Lozer. What's the one question? The Gemara elaborates the Chazering again and again. The Omar, what did Blazer say? He said two things. The Rabbi Meir, what did he say about Rabbi Meir or Blazer? Shtar she'en b'achrayis nechosim. Shtar, an achrayusless shtar. The achrayusless shtar. En adovim b'nechosim mishubodim, below b'nechosim b'nechosim. Right? He says, according to Rabbi Meir, a shtar without achrayis nechosim is not only missing the achrayis, meaning the lekuchos that passed the loive, even from Lobe himself, he cannot take, right? That's what the Blazer said. And the Brysa does not sound like that. Veka Omar, and he also said, he also said, Rabbi Lozor, Ben Lobe Meir, Ben Lobono, Lochashin and Leknunia. He said, both Rabbi Meir and Chachomim never are concerned about that twisted mind of the Lobe and Malva to play Knunia, to play scheme against, to scheme against the Lekuchos. That's not a concern. Ubraisa, that's what the Blazer said. I'm sorry to tell you, Rabbi Lozor, about the Brysa. <coughs> Ubraisa, Ktani, the Braisa says what? Braisa says two things against you. Ubraisa Ktani, I'm sorry, the Zoom is happy again. Ubraisa Ktani, Shtar She'en Bochreis Nechosim, Ishtar without a Christ Nechosim, that Shtar which is halfway, it's written very nicely, no Christ mentioned. Mimishabdi Deloy Gabi, the Braisa says that Shtar is a good Shtar, only from the Mishubadi, from Lakuchas you don't take. I mean, Nechor Nigba Gabi. But you do take from the Bnei Choyer, and you do use it against the Lord himself to take from his own regular free land, his own bank account, his own table and chair at home. So that's against Rabbi Lozor, the Ktani. And also it says, Ben Abimeir, Ben Rabbon, and Chashin and Leknunia. And it says, we are concerned, according to both opinions, the question is the question of the Shtar. How, what kind of Shtar is hurting potentially the Lekuchos? But everyone agrees that the vulnerable people, the one need, they need protection here are the Lekuchos. And we're concerned about Knunia, the Ktani, if both sides agree, both sides agree, why not return? Two adults consenting. Why don't you agree? Because you have Lekuchos. I'm a Chashin and Leknunia. Frek the Gemara, like you people are raising your eyebrows at me. Frek the Gemara, why are you saying it's one question against Rabbi Elozo? Yeah, last time I learned how to count, that's two. One question regarding Shtal, the Shtal which was not a Chrayas, the value of it according to Rabbi Meir. Secondly, is the Mishnah concerned or not concerned about what? About the Kuchos. So why do you say it's one question against Rabbi Lozer? It's really two questions. Answer the Gemara. Chada. Yudalu de Modalev. Chada hu. Shtaim shen echod. The two reasons stem from one logic, from one school of thought, from one from one type of logic. The chad tam hu. One reasoning one idea caused Rabbi Lozer to say to make both statements, and the opposite of that logic caused him to make the two other statements. Yeah, many, many examples can be used from all over the world, right? Many times you have two issues, two things that stem from the same idea. Yeah, as Khar said in Shabbos, B'Shem the Maharal, a person that has a krum kop, a person that has a twisted mind, so everything he thinks is already twisted. Nothing to do with American society today or the government. Um, I don't know, it came to mind. Some, I'm just, I don't know. But yeah, Western society today, I have 10 different shtusim that are legalized all the time. They all stem from the same shtus, right? The all shtus of liberalism and selfishness and shtus and no moralism. It's one, one yetzer horror that creates, like, like, like one octopus has eight tentacles. But it's one octopus, not a nice example. Yeah, it's one brain. One octopus is very intelligent, they say. He has eight tentacles, they're all from here, from there. It's one brain. Lahav the of dollars. Rabbi Lozer mindset and, and, and the prices one, uh, mindset are really one that have two applications. Explains the Gemara. What do I mean? 
ומשום דקו אמר רב לוזר מחלוקס בשאין חייב מוידה או רב לוזר was making he positioned the mishnah explained the mishnah when the chayev is not moide, when the chayev, the person who's alleged to be chayev, the one written in the star is the Baal Choyv, does not admit. He has, the way he, he saw the movie, he wrote the book, the story, you go to the house of the Lord after you found the star in the subway, yeah, in the, in the tube station, and what? And the chayev says, no, I did not borrow. Because of that, because of that, he has to say two explanations, right? First of all, he says, the chayv is not moide, so we have to protect too. The chayv himself. Why are you running to the lakuchos? Which lakuchos in your mind? Which lakuchos in your seichel? We're talking about the, the chayv himself. Who's in the front row? Who's in the front row? If this is a gun and the malve is left with a gun, who's in the front row? The lakuchos or the loive? Who's in the front row? Of course the loive. The loive is the main guy here. According to, Shmuel, according to by Shmuel also, by the way, and Rab Lozer, they believe the Loiv himself screams, I did not borrow, or it's forged, or I returned. So Mimela, the Kuchas is just out of the question. And because of that very same logic, he also has to say that he's forced to say the second thing. Because if he said that the Loiv is vulnerable, how, how could you give back the Malva a loaded gun? How can you give the Malva a star that says that the Loiv owes him money when you know the Loiv does not owe him money? Must be such a star with no achrayas is considered to be what is considered to be garnished. That's why the lover is protected because we must say the second application of the same logic. We are protecting the loyve according to Rabbi Meir. We know the loyve is a cutie beauty who doesn't know who doesn't owe anything, or at least we're concerned. Why? Why do we give a gun to the malve? Must be it's not a loaded gun. Meaning, according to Rabbi Meir, in simple words, the star with no achrayas is not a star. He can't do anything with it. It's a nice decoration on the wall. He can give it to his wife next birthday. Make a painting on the other side. Darling, here's your picture. That's all. Okay? So really, it's two questions, but they stem from one idea. And the Brysa is also two ideas that stem from one. What's the idea? That the Lukuchas are the ones. They both agree. The Lukuchas are the ones vulnerable. If the Lukuchas are vulnerable, you can say the star is very good between the Loiv and the Malve. According to Rabbi Meir, it's a good stuff between Loiv and Malve. You can take from the Loiv. The Loiv admits. The Loiv says, yes, I expect to pay back in a month. I'm a very honest guy. No problem. So what's the issue? The Lukuchos also stands from the same idea. That's a bright song. Very good. I, yeah. Who metar, that's so explained it that way. Now, up until now, Mazel Tov, we explained, Bokhsham, I think, I have it clear, Bokhsham in my mind, and I hope you too, and if not, you can watch it again today. And what did we say? We have one, we have a support for Rabbi Yochanan and one double sword question against the Blozo. But then you said Shmuel has two questions. What is that? What's the extra question on Shmuel? Let's continue and see. Bezal Sashem. Yeah. We're Daf Yudalet. Yad Yad Hashem. Let's see Yad Hashem in the page. Tiyufte de Shmuel Betalti. We have a question against Shmuel Betalti. Two questions. Chado Kabelozo. One question is the same as on Rabelozo, of course. Why? Obviously. As I told you, Shmuel and Rabelozo are good friends. They both agree that the Mishnah is talking about a case where the Chayv does not agree. The alleged Chayv says no. Either according to Rabelozo, it says I paid back, according to, and I just over, uh, the star overstated its welcome by me, that's Rabelozo, and Shmuel says it's, the whole thing is one big forge. But I said they both agree that the issue is with the, the Chayev. The Chayev is the one we want to protect. So the question from the Brysa is against Shmuel. Same question as before. The Chada. Oh, what's the new question? What's the extra question which we attack Shmuel more than Rabbi Lozer? What's the new business in town? The Chada, the other extra question, the Omer Shmuel. Shmuel says, A person found the star a Kno. A Kno. Remember a Kno. A Kno is a star. That has no problem of dates. Star Kno means I borrowed money from you and the mortgage starts the second it enters your hands regardless of the halvo. It's a star that works very, very well for the Malve and very much against Loive. The Malve is, I guess, a loan shark as well, yeah? <laughs> and the Loive is skin. But as long as it's, yeah, the halv star Kno is a star Kno which has no date issues because the date of the star is the date of the of the of the shibud. Okay, let's say you found it in the shuk. 
Yachzir Lebailim, you give it to the Malver. Why? Because mitzad dates, there's no chashash. Mitzad dates, no chashash. True? No, no chashash for dates. Because the kno means <laughs> whenever the star was written, is gufa when it's actually, that's it. That, 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 that's when the chiyuv is of the shibud. The kuchis cannot be tricked. There are no two dates here. There are no two uh, parallel uh, uh, timelines. And also, oh, maybe you're going to have another concern. Maybe the lawyer can say, oh, I already paid back. Yeah, it's old hats. It's old stories. I already gave back the money. I returned the money. I paid the I did the payback. And he gave me back the star. And I forgot to tear it. Says Shmuel, that we don't buy. That we don't buy. We don't buy the fact that you actually say that you paid back. Emil will give it to the Malve. So what do you see? Oh, Shmuel believes that paying back is not an issue. We're never concerned that the person may have paid back. For me, Mela Shmuel, of course, does not believe in communion either, because Shmuel believes that it's a very hot potato in the hands of the loive, and he would tear it, chick chuck right away, as quickly as he can, because that's incriminating him. Of course, Shmuel would not believe Bechlal in Piro and Beknunia. Even if you want to play a game, no, no, I don't want to play games with a gun that can shoot against me. I will not play the Knunia game, the scheme against the Lepuchos. And that's an extra question on Shmuel. Tyuvta, there's a question against Shmuel. Why? Because it says in the Bryce, in the very same Bryce that we read, the long one we read now, that's an extra question against Shmuel, the Ktani. It says in the Bryce, uh, over here, both Malva and Loiva both agree. Looks very friendly. Peace treaty. Everyone's friendly. Why don't you return to any of them? What's the problem? Because we're concerned about Piroin, right? We're concerned that maybe really he paid back. Meaning, I said, why does he agree? Because <laughs> he's playing games. He wants to reuse the star for Knunia, for a scheme. If we're concerned that a loive, even if the loive admits, I did not pay, we put words into his mouth and we say, Mr. We're concerned you did pay and you're playing games. You want to give it to the Malve to use it against the Lukuchois. And we are concerned there was there was really, yes, using the star past its due date, past the return date. Call she can hear all the more. So here, the Lama the Loy of the Christian Lapiroin. Here the Lobby says, No, I paid. I could swear. I don't know if he swears, yeah. I tell you with all honesty that I paid. Of course, here the Bryce would say, if he says that he paid. Of course, we'll be concerned that he paid. Even when he says, I didn't pay, I paid, we're concerned he didn't, and he's playing games, so it's interest. Of you can hear, when the lawyer says, I did not pay, he's shouting, we believe him, and we'll not give it back to the mouth, which is exactly against Shmuel. Shmuel says, if, if the only thing the lawyer has to say for himself is, I paid, I paid, I paid, we don't believe him. You paid? No, no, no. Had you paid, you tear it right away. Shmuel has the right to think so, but the price is against him. And that, Nakuda, my friends, is not against Rablozo. Rablozo did not say that the concern is, yeah, Rablozo says we have a concern about paying back. Yeah, there was a concern, according to Rablozo. If he says, if he says, I did not pay, then, according to Shmuel, if he says, I did not pay, Shmuel says, we don't believe you. If he found a star and you said, I got it back, but he says, I did pay, excuse me, if he says, I did not pay, I meant that, yeah, sorry, I did not make a mistake for a change. If the person says, I did not pay, he admits in adverted commas he didn't pay. We say, no, we are concerned that you did pay back. So why are you saying you didn't? Because you want the Malbe to reuse the star falsely in a scheme, sly way against the Lukukas. And that's for sure against Shmuel, much more than against her below this. Question. Loida. Price against Shmuel. Maybe Shmuel is Nidcha. Loida. For now, I'm not concerned about it, but there's a time, maybe that disproved him. Although the Gemara does say, too. There's a question that is shown if you say Shmuel Tanu Polygon. My friend once showed me all piece of paper with a chorus, Lachanu Lachan, if you say Shmuel Tanu Polygon. We're not done yet, perfect. If you say Shmuel Tanu Polygon, can Shmuel argue in the Mishnah and Bryce? Yes or no? It uh, seems to be an issue. We said about Rav, and we recently thought about Ravuna. About Ravchia, Ravchia. Yes. Time for questions for a minute? Yes, yeah, okay. The Lakuchas are the people who bought from the Loive. 
and therefore are badly affected by the land being mortgaged. Yes. Because the land is mortgaged, they bought the mortgage land. They should have done due diligence, and the Malave will snatch it away from them. And the beautiful house in Belgrave will be taken. Before we continue, I just want to point out something Rashi said. I didn't stress it well enough. I said it only once. That uh, nice little, uh, very bad trick against the Lekuchos only helps if the Loive sold the Lekuchos to Shtar with no warranty, with no Achrais, as we're going to see soon. Which means, if the Lekuchos bought the, the, the land from Mr. Loive with Achrais, what does that mean? In case the Malve, the big bad Malve, will come and snatch away their land legally, because when they bought it, it was mortgaged, and they should have found out. Even in today's society, it's like that. They have to do diligence. Now, if they bought it with a Christ from their seller, who is the loive, right? Then the loive, of course, will have to compensate them. They lost the $3 million apartment. They'll have to give them $3 million. If it's written in the sales, in the sale document, in the sale document, yeah? Then in the Khanami. Here, the story is not like that. They bought land from the loive without a Christ. They were foolish. As we're going to see soon, they were foolish or adventurous, and they bought from the loyve without a chayes. They're going to lose. They're going to lose because then the loyve will say, "Oh, I'm so sorry that my malve had to approach you." Huh? Thinking it, yeah, and they will not go back to the loyve because it's not a chayes. Who's going to lose? The lakuchos. Malve and loyve will laugh all the way to the bank and to Gehenim. And Gehenim will stop laughing. Elul, Elul is coming. Let's get more years mind. Very hot, yeah, hotter than than the champion. Lighter. Omar Shmuel, two more minutes, and just into Shmuel. Tomorrow is the last year for the week, so let's get there. Omar Shmuel, my time at the Rabbanon. Now Shmuel is going to tell you something which you knew all along. Says Shmuel, what's Rabbanon's reason to say that even a star which has no achrayas should not be brought back to the to the to the original. Malve, supposed Malve, Sabri, they say a Christ to Soifer who they say a Christ is a to Soifer. The lack of a Christ, the omission of a Christ, a Christ being omitted is a sad mistake made by the scribe. But even a star without a Christ is like yes, having a Christ. Therefore, all stars say Chachamim as opposed to Rabbi Meir. All stars are loaded guns against the Lakuchois. Because all stars, with or without a chryas, are really, really with a chryas. It says no preservatives. Really, there are preservatives in that food, but they forgot to write. Yeah, trust me about it. Yeah. So Mimela, the, according to Shmuel, according to Chachamim, Mimela Chachamim say don't give back any star to the to the to the Malve if we're concerned about the lekuchos because the to soifer. Oma lerove barite lerav ite bar avin. Did Shmuel ever say such a thing that a Christ is just a soul surfer and every star automatically has a Christ, even if he doesn't have? Belmer Shmuel, I'll quote you a line from Shmuel that seems to contradict that. Shmuel says, Shevach Shefer Beshibud Tsarich Limolech. So we're going to just translate that and uh, then uh, go home. Shevach Shefer Beshibud are not really three stories, it's like three combined stories. Shibud, you know what Shibud is, right? Shibud says Shmuel, if a soifer wants to write Shibud in the star, he has to ask the loive and the malve, uh, he has to ask, shall I write Shibud, yes or no? And also Shevach and Shefer. Okay, you know, I think I'll do that tomorrow. The Shevach, Shefer, Shevach and Shefer basically are levels of Shibud, even to take from the best land. Yeah, Shibud of a Kenyan, when a person, no, excuse me, excuse me. Shevach Shefer Veshibud is not about a star of Halva, it's about a star Kenya, the one Ellen spoke about. If a person buys a piece of land from his friend and he says, I want that, that, that Mechira, the sale, to be guaranteed, that even if your bank, your Gemach guy, your lender will attack me, I want to be protected, I can run back to you, and I want Shibud, Shvach and Shefer. Shvach means. Let's say I bought for me $1 million apartment. You know what I'm, I'm going to do with that? Hoo, hoo, hoo. I brought an interior designer and I brought marble from Italy. In a few months, your apartment under my crafty hands will be 
two million dollars, yeah. And now he's gonna snatch it away from me, your guy, yeah. I want not only the one million, the two million. Let's use all two million, yeah. I want not just this. I want to cover myself in case the apartment worth more. I want to cover myself from the shefer shipu improvement. I also want to take, and you know what? This guy's a good lawyer. And I will not take, you remember there are three types of land? The best, the middle, and the worst? When I will come and charge you, Mr. Seller, Loive, don't buy me three tiny small apartments in a, in a small southern town. I want your villa in Caesarea. I want your big, your, your, your Edis, your best land you have in the Golan with beautiful vineyards and the villa in Caesarea. Yeah, from the, from the shepherd, from the best. Shevach is what he improved, and Shefer is from the best. All these items should be consulted with all sides, meaning it's not automatic. I mean, not everybody actually has the one, the, the rots to do shibud. Maybe in the Khinami, the, the Smoicher can say, I'm not willing to do shibud. So don't tell me shibud is such an automatic thing. I'm just planting the seeds of the question, which we'll explain tomorrow, Tashem. And time for questions is now. Thank you very much. And have a great week at Tzlochah Yes.